Well, good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator. I apologize for my tardiness on this one. Been a little bit of an off day, but if you remember yesterday, Tessa was talking about the uh, computer. But before I get on about that, it is Saturday, Saturday, June 29th, 2024, day 181. As you saw yesterday, the color changed. We have blue. Points. Oh, and yes, uh, I should I should know if you hear any noises, Sweet Pea has forced her way into the bedroom again. She's very determined to be in here. I don't, right now, it's all right. Anyway, while we're going on with these daily tasks, I will go, on, oh, I will go on about what happened yesterday. So, let's see, fetch these, okay. So what happened was um, the computer just started overheating quite significantly. It sales significantly. Um, it's not supposed to do that, but it was. So the re so what we narrowed down a combination of things that are going on, but it primarily stems from the AIO or the all-in-one cooling system because we don't use air cooling. You can't with this uh, Model I seven. Which uh, I need to get that replaced. So uh, even the CPU will ha eventually need replacing because it's just not strong enough for what I need to do. But an I seven ninety seven hundred is just fine for now. But what happened is because the AIO is so old, it's not cooling properly. So that started to overheat, and the heat from the AIO was interacting with the GPU, which its slot is right up again, right next to the AIO. So as the AIO started heating up, it was blowing its air, like its heat was radiating off. And instead of just going out the back like, like it normally would because the AIO is not working properly, the AIO fan is also going out. Um, it was just radiating onto the GPU, which would then heat the GPU up. So whenever a game was running, the GPU would heat up, which would further heat up the AIO and further heat up the GPU. So they are all feeding on each other. The fan on the AIO being as old as it is was working overtime. And then eventually the GPU got so incredibly hot that it started to overheat and it started screaming too. Somehow it didn't, somehow it didn't start kick in the emergency GPU shutoff like it should have but luckily there's no damage really the issue is that the AIO is going out I need to replace it next week but it's got enough strength to keep going for now but I'm not going to take any more risks as soon as I can manage I'm getting another AIO I'm looking at possibly getting the Corsair AIO and a lot of that is I do like Corsair products. My wireless headphones have always been Corsair. I don't use wireless headphones all that often. In fact, I haven't used uh, I haven't used wireless headphones since I got the Valve Index, and then I've stuck with uh, just corded headphones. That I prefer the quality, and I prefer corded microphones. I don't like wireless microphones. They sound like I'm talking in a telephone. But that's beside the point. Um. What was I going on for that? Uh, so there were a couple things I've done for now is I've moved the GPU into the slot that's further away from the AIO. It's not a perfect solution because the, the AIO is still going to heat up, but it has more space away from the GPU. The other problem, though, is that the GPU is now much closer to the base of the computer itself. And really, it's it's the design of this ATX board. It, it, it's really that. I only have two slot, two GPU slots on on the motherboard, and one of them is right up against the AIO block, which I can only get a single block AIO. I can't get a dual or you know a double block. I work with what I've got, but it's got some space down there. But the other thing I'll need to do is I need to get a a different I, I need to get a different side panel for my PC case if they even have any. And if I can get a replacement side panel, no, it's not broken, it's just fine. But a replacement side panel would definitely be cheaper than getting a um an entirely new PC case. 
which I, de I definitely should look at eventually doing when it's within my budget to do. I just need a full size, like a, a full size tower, not a mid size, because I, I think this is a mid size tower using a, a full ATX board. But if I can get just a different side panel for now, I just want to get a perforated metal one. That'll be just fine. Hey. Um, let's see if I can find more. But yeah, so if I... It's over here. There it is. You Gotcha. Oh, looks like I finished those off. Now I just need to find the last of those things. Where are you? What? I was saying it's over here. Uh, yeah, if, if I can get a perforated metal one, it'll encourage more airflow for this for the CPU. And that's what I very badly need. It's just, I need better airflow. Once I can get better airflow through the computer case itself, that should that should drastically reduce my heat problems. And that should cover it. Let's just do this one PSC burst and we gotta call it because there's a lot I still need to do today. Um, mainly stuff for the kids. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make for them. Originally I was gonna do chicken, but I need more oil. And I'm also running out of spices. Do you know how, I don't think people understand how horrible it is to be running out of spices. I have used so many spices. I actually should write up an entire list of what spices I need to get again. One of the big ones, surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, is um, ground mustard seed. I've got whole mustard seed, but I'd like some ground stuff too. So I don't have to pull out the pestle grinder all the time. But, yeah, I I don't exactly want to do pizza for the kids because, you know, pizza's getting expensive. And if, and if Sweet Pea said anything about that, I didn't hear it because there's too much noise in my ear at the moment. <laughs> Games. Not hitting much right now. But I'll fig I'll figure it out. I want to get something not expensive because I do have to really be careful about the budget. Well, okay then. But let's go ahead and get over to the Kavaris camp because what I'm going to be doing later today, knowing that I've mitigated some of the heat problems, hopefully I don't have to open, I, I'm really hoping I don't have to keep the side panel of the PC case open. There is a chance, especially with VR, I might have to do that until I can get a, a perforated metal one. There is that possibility. It, well, hopefully not, but it's, it's looking like to, hold on. Yep, I am going to need to get a different uh, side panel. It's not getting good enough airflow. I mean, I can do everything I can. I can. I've tried, you know, cleaning out dust and everything. There's just, I do not think this case was designed with a 3080 GPU like this larger GPU in mind. Obviously, the AI was going out, so that needs to be replaced as soon as possible. I mean, let's see. You might be able to hear that. Hang on. Let's see, I'm going to mute this real quick. Yeah, that's, that's, unfortunately, that's the computer, but I'm going to get my ear close to it. I'm quite certain that's the, the AIO fan. Ah, yep. 
Okay, so I know for sure that's the AIO fin. I need a combination of making, ensuring the GPU is further away from that thing for sure. Replace the AIO and eventually replace that glass side panel with a perforated metal one to encourage even more airflow. The more airflow, the better, because it's not gonna, it's not, it's really not going to stay. Look, I see again still for the next two weeks, there's nothing but hundreds, mid 100s Fahrenheit temperatures, and our AC cannot keep up. Both Tess and I have said the exact same thing, which means, you know, the kind of, well, kind of diddly dee creek. So we will we will figure that one out, but I expect our, our upcoming electric bill to be abysmal. The last one was 168, and I try to be extremely careful, but with this heat wave, I... Uh, I'm expecting above, probably above 250, 280. It's, it's, it's going to be bad. But anyway, that's enough for today. We have discovered our computer problems, and I have figured out the majority, how to um, mitigate the majority of these problems for the time being. Hopefully, that's all I need, but I can still hear that thing just really whining. And that's even with doing a few of the fixes. So that AIO is really struggling. I can't, I cannot really do anything super heavy for a little while until I can get, until I can get that replacement part. But anyway, this is Tara Quator. I hope you enjoy your Saturday, June 29th, 2024, day 181. We will see you all tomorrow.